this is a quick tutorial on how to convert first we'll do converting rectangular to polar coordinates and we'll also do a conversion of polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates but a tutorial of how to convert from and to polar and rectangular coordinates using here the model we use is a Casio FX1 115 ES, but it also works for the FX 300 ES and the FX 55. Uh, I assume it probably is the same on their graphing models, although I don't have experience with those. But it should be the same process on any of those three calculators, at least of the Casio models. So if we're converting from rectangular to polar first thing you want to do is we're going to hit the shift button and we want to then hit the plus button which is converting to maybe difficult to read there but converting to polar point. so we want to hit the button or the, the type of coordinate we're converting to, not converting from, but converting to. So we're converting to polar coordinates. We want to put the I coordinate, which was 5, comma, and then the J coordinate, which was, it was if you remember in our example here, converting 5I minus 3J. Since it's minus 3J, we want to put negative 3. And it's the J coordinate. Oops. And then close our parentheses and hit enter. So then the calculator gives us both parts of it immediately. It gives us the magnitude of the vector or the radius of our polar coordinates as well round it to 5 and 83 hundredths and then on the Casio this is real nice it gives you both at the same time as I said you can scroll over and it also gives you the angle however if it's if, you, if it's like my classroom we always want the positive form of this angle so if it's an angle between 180 degrees and 360 degrees they're going to give you a negative angle. So to make that positive, again, we're going to have to to round here probably be your best bet, but we're going to take negative 30 and 96 hundredths and add 360 to that. Which gives us oops, a fraction. 329 and 400 degrees. And again, it may vary from teacher to teacher, classroom to classroom. Um, some of your teachers may be okay with the negative 30 and 9600. Um, if they require the positive, you're going to have to put that angle back in your calculator and add 360 to it. So that was converting from rectangular to polar. Converting from polar to rectangular. Very similar process. So, since we're converting to rectangular, first we need to press shift and then the rectangular function. But since we're converting to rectangular, we want to you choose the rectangular function for the Cassius. Then we're going to put in our radius, 10. Always separate the radius and the angle with comma, just like when converting from rectangular to polar, we separated the I and the J coordinate with comma. Put in the angle, 140. And close it off with parentheses. 
and press enter. So our negative t is x and y. I know in our class we use i and j. But I would give the answer then negative 7 and 66 hundredths i. And then we scroll over for our y or our j coordinate. 6 and plus, excuse me, 6 and 43 hundredths j. And uh, it's that simple with Cassius, I think, uh, comparing calculators. The Cassios, at least in this process, uh, much more straightforward, simple conversion from rectangular to polar, vice versa.